To replace any of the XM series pumps, you will need these tools. Repairing the pump requires several kits. Kits may vary depending on the pump. Check our website for which kit is right for you. Both the discharge and inlet valves on this pump are the same, so I will only show you one set. To replace the valves and o-rings, start by removing the valve caps on the pump using a 22 mm hex socket. Clean the valve caps and their sockets of any debris. Take out the three discharge valves with a pair of pliers. To remove the valves, grasp the cage with your pliers and pull. Use a pick to take out the o-rings under the valves. Clean or replace the o-rings and press them flat in the bottom of the pump. Take the new valves and place them squarely into the port. Press down to make sure they are securely on top of the o-rings. Use a drop of Loctite or Teflon tape on each of the valve caps so they seal properly. Reapply the valve caps and torque to 478 inch-pounds. To replace the piston guides, water seals, and pistons, remove the head bolts using a 5mm hex socket. Using two screwdrivers on opposite sides of the pump, Hoist the head up so it can be lifted off. The piston nut requires a 13 mm hex socket to be taken off. Lift off the copper washers from the top of the pistons. If washers get stuck, use a knife to take them off. To take off the pistons, you must twist and pull them off of the piston rods. With the pistons off, you can now remove the brass slingers. Next, remove the O-rings on the piston rods. Be careful the O-rings don't go flying away. Roll the new O-rings over the piston rods to put them back in place. Put the new brass slingers into their position on the rod. Now twist and slide the new pistons back over the rods. After putting the replacement copper washers on, use a drop of Loctite on the piston threads. Put the piston nuts back on and tighten. Torque the piston nuts to 106 inch pounds. To 
To remove the piston guides, use the reversible pliers. Use the pliers to grip between the guide and the seal. Be careful not to damage the inside of the pump when removing them. The first item to be replaced are the support rings. They must go into the head with the flat side down. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its curvature should fit on top of the support ring. Place the new water seals in at a 45 degree angle and work them in. Push the guides back into the head with the flat side facing up. To put the rear piston guide back in, you should replace the water seal inside of it. You can push it out using your fingernail. If that doesn't work, use a pick, but be careful not to damage the seal. Before pushing them into the head, replace the O-rings. When the rear piston guides are properly seated, you will hear a faint click. Place the manifold securely onto the head. Reapply the eight manifold bolts in a crisscross pattern to evenly distribute pressure. Torque them to 133 inch pounds. 